Alright, so you guys are always requesting, you guys are always asking me to show you what is on my iPad Pro. So today, I'm going to be showing you what is on my iPad Pro. <laughs> All right, so before you guys ask, I'm gonna answer the basic questions. What iPad do I have? I own the iPad Pro from 2019, the 11 inch in space gray, and I've got the smart keyboard with my amazing kernel sticker on it. All right, let's go ahead and go inside of the iPad. What do I have on my widgets? I've got the weather, I've got the files app, like this I can access files really easily. I've got the things app, which I'm gonna show you in just a second, the batteries, and then the bottom, I don't really use the widgets. The widgets that I use the most, weather, files, things, and the battery sometimes. Then I've got FaceTime, all the basic stock apps, and then I've got Affinity Designer. And let me tell you, Affinity Designer is just amazing. Affinity Designer is where I edit, where I graphic design with all my projects, um, whether it's on the Mac or on the iPad. And the iPad app is super powerful to do whatever we want. For example, as you guys know, I own Kernel, I created Kernels, and I actually manage all social media work. So um, here on the iPad is where I actually update and where I write all the um, box office week uh, of the weekend, and I let everybody know how much every single film made throughout the weekend and I do it over here um, last week I actually designed this about page which actually turned out really nicely I've got this gradient going on um, the Twitter icon this isn't actually the the finalized font but this is the basic idea on how everything is gonna look like um, then we, whenever we upload a podcast we upload a bunch of you know a, gra a graphic to let everybody know that we upload a new podcast and then I actually animated to actually do like this um, on social media and then I put the voice this is for Instagram and then this is for Twitter I like the design of on the way that this guy actually came out uh, what else can I show you here's um, a, a post that I actually never actually got posted but it's just an idea that I'm probably gonna actually gonna finish um, for the rise of Skywalker which by the way I am so excited for Star Wars the rise of Skywalker and then sometimes we upload ratings on our social media as well so then I've got affinity photo and affinity photo is kind of Photoshop and affinity designer is kind of illustrator um, on the iPad so here what did I do here here um, as you guys can see I actually added um, I covered that with my collab with Jonathan Morrison and then I added the screen then with the screen you know you can change the opacity you can change the color the brightness all that good stuff everything all in one iPad app which is pretty impressive like this app these two apps are seriously so impressive then I've got Photoshop and then Photoshop I haven't actually as you guys can see, it's probably not even logged in. It's not even logged in. I logged out. Um, I just don't use Photoshop. I'm actually, guess what? I'm going to delete Photoshop in front of everybody to let everybody know that nobody needs Photoshop because Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo are here. By the way, this is not sponsored. I wish. I seriously wish. Affinity, if you're watching this, sponsor me. I love your products. And I really, they actually give out some t-shirts to people who work for them. I don't know how, how to get an Affinity Designer t-shirt, but Affinity, I want a t-shirt from you. Sponsor me. I want a t-shirt. Then I've got YouTube, YouTube Studio. There's no point on me showing you that because if you don't know what YouTube is, I mean, you have to know YouTube. If not, you wouldn't be watching this video. Then I've got Disney Plus. And you might be asking, Nikias, how the heck are you logged in into Disney Plus if you're not from America? Well, it's called the VPN. Um, I actually tried a bunch of VPNs, and as you guys can see, I'm logged into Disney Plus. I'm loving, I'm absolutely loving, absolutely adoring um, The Mandalorian. Star Wars Mandalorian is incredible. I love this show. Um, and I mean, Disney Plus is literally my heaven. I spent so much, so much, so many hours of my night in Disney Plus. I love it. And the VPN that I actually use is NordVPN. This is not sponsored. Um, but it's the one that actually works with Disney Plus. So if you're not from a country that isn't from that isn't available in Disney Plus in your country, make sure you check out um, NordVPN because it does work. Um, not sponsored once again. Then we've got Toy Story Drop. This app is actually a game. I never play it. It's quite boring actually. But I love having Woody and Forky in my home screen. Like it's. I never actually use it. I just like having Woody and Forky in my home screen. Then we've got Netflix, Planetary, Pro, 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 Pro. I can't even talk right now. Procreate. Um, I use Procreate to do some illustrations. I haven't drawn in quite some time now. I drew so much last year. Last year I was drawing like crazy on the iPad. I was like so hype, you know, with the Apple Pencil and stuff. Here's a business idea that I had and I, and I sketched this. Um, I, I actually like this quite a lot. This, this business actually came to life, but then I stopped it's a long story um the strawberry i drew so much i drew so much and then i stopped which kind of sucked because look at this this is steve jobs i even put the signature this is kind of like a collection freddie mercury michael jackson messi 
Amy Winehouse. I love this one from Walt Disney. I love drawing, but it's just so time consuming and I don't have time right now. I have to prioritize my time. Things. Now, Things is the app that I use absolutely the most on my Apple Watch. I love it on my Apple Watch. I love it on my iPhone and I love it on the iPad as well. It's a quite expensive app because you have to pay um, the iPad app separately and the iPhone app separately. And then there's also a Mac app, but the Mac app is like 50 bucks. So I might get it for Christmas actually, because I have no idea what to ask for Christmas. So I might literally just ask for a $50 gift card and I might just get that. But anyways, um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. It is a to-do list, but I love the way that this is designed. Upload video, boom. And then you can just check it off. You can change them. You can have a bunch of different folders. You can have everything that you did. It's good. It's a really, really powerful app. And I get so much th stuff done with Things 3. And I love, you know, that it's actually a widget. It's a complication on my Apple Watch. And I really, really like the way that works. Snapseed, if you guys do not know what Snapseed is, it is a really, really, really powerful um, photo editing app. I don't want to go too in-depth with it because I've actually gone in-depth with it with in, a, in a bunch of videos that I've made in the past. So definitely check them out. Kernel, Kernel is coming to the iPad, by the way. Uh, we just do not know when, but it is coming. So stay tuned. I can't show you but stay tuned. Then we've got good notes. Good notes is amazing. Um, whenever I have to note take in class, I usually use good notes. I'm, I'm always in between notability and good notes. I've always been a notability fan, but this year I was like, you know what? I'm going to try out good notes. And it's actually a really, really good app as well. Really powerful app. Um, you've got everything that you want and it works really, really well. Then we've got agenda. Okay. This app is really, really beautifully designed but it's not as simple as things three and it kind of does the same purpose but it does so much more but since it does so much more anyways let me show you what it is okay it's basically a to-do list and you've got so much stuff you can do with this for example right um here's a to-do list here for example here's an untitled note and you can literally type a whole entire paragraph and it's also a to-do list right so you can you know mark stuff remove from the on agenda like the possibilities are endless on the way that you can use this app. Um, and I, I used it. I used it for like two weeks, but I still like Things 3 so much better because it is so much nicer. It's so much more simple. Um, this app kind of stresses me out because like there's so much stuff going on, but this app is definitely more powerful than Things 3. But the simplicity of Things 3 is something that I really like. All right, and then we've got my Apple Arcade folder. Here's where all of my Apple Arcade games, actually Mario Kart is not from Apple Arcade, but I added it here either way. What are my thoughts on Apple Arcade? I've said this in a bunch of times on live streams and on Twitter, which by the way, if you guys aren't following me on Twitter or on Instagram, make sure to do so. Um, but Apple Arcade is amazing. Like the value that you get for just the price that it is, is incredible. But I actually unsubscribed to Apple Arcade um, I think I, I've got like three more days for my, for my payment, but Apple Arcade, like I just don't have time to play games right now because I'm so busy with schoolwork, with uni and when, with my app and everything, I just don't have time to play. So it's not worth it for me since I'm not using Apple Arcade, but for anybody else that has time to play games, I definitely recommend Apple Arcade. I mean, Hot Lava is a really fun game. Sayonara, I really enjoyed it. Way of the Turtle is one that I was really, really into it, especially in live streams. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have seen me play. We have the channel on live streams, Ocean Horn. They're really, really good games. I just don't have time to play them. Then I'm going to go over this really quickly because I don't want to get you guys to enter. I mean, to, I don't want to get you guys bored. Trello. What the heck is Trello? Trello is the way that we communicate with the app. There's a bunch of articles that have to be written every day. So here's kind of how we communicate. Like here's all the the articles that you know are being written by people i have an article idea i put it here and somebody else writes it which by the way if you guys are interested in writing for kernel um let me know like dm kernel on twitter and we will make sure to get back to you because we are actually looking for writers for more writers so if you're interested if you like writing if you like movies definitely message me on definitely message kernel on twitter luma fusion luma fusion i'm sure you guys know it's the way to edit video on the ipad but i just don't like editing video on the ipad so i just never use it pixelmator is another great photo editing app um you can literally i love this retouching tool this repair because if you know if you don't really like this you can literally just select it like this and then you can just delete all of this boom boom and you just deleted that, you know, it's really cool. It's really powerful. You've got a bunch of different color 
effects and it's good it's good stuff filter loop it's another great app for editing photo visco i'm sure you know another great app for editing photos skype musician is the app that i use to play the guitar kayak to search flights lightroom to edit photos podcast ebay pages keynotes notability rest in peace notability i miss using you buddy i use notability so much um, it was a great note taking app, but I just don't use it anymore. Pixel Mater Photo is another great app. It's actually the same as Pixel Mater, but just the pro version. It's good. It's equally as good. I use both of them. Then we've got Amazon Behance. I use Behance all the time um, because you know I'm studying design, and you know with design you're always looking for inspiration. And Behance is an excellent app to look for inspiration. Doesn't matter if it's from logo design, UI, packaging, whatever it is, it's really, really nice. And you can see people's projects. Uh, what the heck, Google Pixel Slate. Let's go ahead and check this out. So you can see people's sketches, just people's projects in general. Pixel Slate has been designed. Oh, so this is actually the designer of the Pixel Slate, which is pretty cool. WordPress is where we upload all of our articles from kernel. Telegram, Pinterest, Gmail, Casa Bank, which is my bank, Google Translate, Wallapop, which is a Spanish app to just sell and buy stuff over here in Spain, Spain, Instagram, Test Flight, App Figures. App Figures is the way for me to actually look at how many sales, how many downloads um, Kernel is actually getting. NordVPN, Patreon. Yes, Patreon. I have a Patreon. If you guys have enjoyed Nikias Plus and you want to support the channel, do so. I mean, look at all of these amazing people that have joined Nikias Plus. You can join me in live streams. You can be in the Nikias Plus Telegram, which was, which by the way is a lot of fun. And yeah, that's it. I've got Guitar Tune to learn to play my guitar, Google Drive, voice memos, and yeah, that is basically it. That is what is on my iPad. So I'm gonna actually gonna stop recording. And yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite ipad pro app or favorite app in general let me know in the comments down below as well do you guys have an ipad do you guys have an ipad pro i'm honestly curious i want to know what ipads you have but most especially what apps you guys use what apps are your favorite on the ipad pro because i love my ipad i love using this this officially has replaced my computer completely my laptop my portable device i love my ipad pro i bring it everywhere so yeah those are the apps that made me replace my macbook and yeah i will see you in another video.